Welcome back guys. Hi, uh, my name is Danielle and we are going to do a rosemary and a peppermint soap today. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be calling it rosemary mint or double mint. Haven't made up my mind on the exact name of the soap yet, um, but we're going to do rosemary, peppermint. It's going to be a um, plain soap and then on the top we're just going to put um, maybe like an eighth of the batter. We are going to put green clay into it and then we'll just put that on the top. And then I think we're going to sprinkle the corner after we texture it with some peppermint leaves. Uh, so we have our essential oil and our clay. We have some peppermint leaves and we have some green clay for the top. All right, so with that being said, let's get started. All right. So here's the first one. Get our stick blender in. All my oils are in the tub, ready to go, put all our lime in, Get it emulsified before we seal the batch off. Put this back. We'll put a little of the batter in for that top. this because there's not a lot of essential oil just because it's rosemary and mint and the percentages are so low so let's just actually put all the or most of I should say the essential oils in this just because there's so little in there it's really just for the top I'm just gonna try to get all this out I'm actually just gonna put a little soap in here easier to get out. When I do mints like peppermint, uh, rosemary, spearmint, I usually like to stick to the light um, percentage. For the most part, when I use essential oils, I usually only do the 3%. I know you can go all the way strong. Some of them you can do five. Um, but three tends to work really well for me and it stays in the soap for, you know, at least a year or so with no issues. Uh, I think it's more or less the, um, the clay and just my recipe itself. Put all that scent in there. Run this up real quick. We'll put our green clay into that little bit of batter. big amount of soap batter in here and then we can mix up our clay. And we're probably soaking at about 80 to 85 degrees, which is typically my ideal um, temperature. up for 
first. It's Friday night. It is freezing outside. I believe it is a high of 18 degrees today. Super, super windy. So it's a perfect soaping night. All right, let's line this up. I'll just place this on top. Let's bring this back. I did want to try to get this on the thicker side. I think everybody has a favorite statue, right? I learned this from the Dollar Tree probably like four or five years ago, and it's my absolute favorite. All right. Perfect. All right, so we're not looking for perfectly straight lines. Just clean this bowl out. We'll let that sit for a minute and then we can come back and texture the top. have to bribe a six-year-old to be quiet with electronics, right? All right. So we'll just clean this up, texture the top, and we'll be done with this one. I kind of like double mint sitting with me a little bit more, so... I think I'll take double mint. Let's see, I wonder how we want to do this top. I want to do something a little different, but I still want to leave um, the corner open to put a little of that peppermint. I do also like the little fork design. Yeah, let's let this sit for a minute and then we'll do the fork and then we'll put the peppermint right there. I'm right back. All right, let's texture this top. Looks like it's ready to go. So we're just gonna use uh, a fork and I'm just gonna drag it through. Just 
adding a little bit of texture. I don't want anything crazy. But I don't want just a plain soap either. Just put a little bit a little bit of peppermint underneath that. And we're going to spray it down just to prevent any soda ash. I'm just going to lightly spray where the peppermint is first, just so when I spray, it doesn't kick up all the herbs. Okay, so that's just 99% rubbing alcohol on the top. And I'll bring you nice and close so you can take a quick peek. And this is peppermint rosemary essential oils with green clay and then a little bit of peppermint on top for a decoration. All right. I'll see you back here for the cut. Hello, welcome back. All right, so we are going to do the rosemary and peppermint soap next. So this is what it looks like. And we're gonna cut it on the side just because we have the peppermint, so we're gonna turn it this way so we don't get any of the herbs dragging down. So let's take you down just a little. So let's just cut the end off real quick. And super simple bar, but it looks beautiful. And I think we might have partial gel on here, so let's take a quick look. I can f think I might be able to see it. Or it could just be a couple, oh, you know what, it's probably just a couple glycerin rivers. Um, I do gel all my soap, so I do get them sometimes. Let's just take a peek and see if we can see anything different. Oh yeah, they're just glycerin rivers. I've never actually gotten partial gel, and I was kind of hoping I did just on such a simple soap to see, but that's okay. I'm sure I could force a partial gel and just not cover the soaps, leave them a little bit colder. I really like the, um, the green clay. Or the dead sea salt clay. Dead sea clay. <laughs> All right.
Beautiful. I like how simple they are. I mean, I like my soap simple anyways, but the colors on this are really, really nice. samplers. All right. So here is the peppermint and rosemary soap. Thank you so very much and have a great day. Bye.